You've been told your choices are illusions, written in advance by unbreakable physical laws. For centuries, science insisted the universe was a sealed clockwork, every movement determined since the beginning of time. But here's what quantum physics reveals. It exposes a mathematical crack in that story, a crack that shatters determinism and makes real free will possible. What does it mean if the future is truly unwritten and your next decision is not just yours, but necessary? In 1687, Isaac Newton published his Principia Mathematica, setting down laws that would define science for centuries. Newton's equations described a universe that moved with the certainty of a clock. Every planet, every falling apple, every grain of sand, each was governed by forces that could be written down, calculated, and predicted. The motion of a planet around the sun, the arc of a cannonball, the tides, all could be explained by his laws of motion and universal gravitation. The world, under Newton's gaze, became a system of particles and forces, all following precise mathematical rules. The heart of Newtonian physics is its determinism. If you know the position and velocity of every particle at a given moment, and you understand the forces acting on them, you can use differential equations to calculate their future. The present contains the seeds of the future, and nothing is left to chance. This was not just a philosophical idea, it was a mathematical fact. The initial conditions, once set, dictated everything that would ever happen. This vision of reality was so powerful that it shaped not only science, but also how people saw themselves. If every atom in your body, every neuron in your brain, followed the same laws as the planets, then your thoughts, your feelings, your decisions, these too must be the inevitable result of prior causes. The universe, in Newton's framework, left no room for true choice. The future was already written, waiting only to be read by someone with enough knowledge. For generations, this was the unbreakable logic of physics. The world is a perfect mechanism, its workings laid bare by Newton's equations. In 1814, the French mathematician Pierre Simon Laplace offered a vision that would haunt thinkers for centuries. He imagined a vast intelligence later called Laplace's demon, capable of knowing the position and momentum of every atom in the universe at a single instant. For Laplace, this knowledge would make the future as clear as the past. Every event, every decision, every heartbeat, all inevitable results of what came before. In this world, nothing is left to chance. The demon's gaze means that every choice, every act of kindness or cruelty, is just the unfolding of a script written since the dawn of time. This idea is not just a thought experiment, it is a mirror held up to our sense of self. If Laplace is right, then the feeling of making a choice is an illusion. The moment you decide to speak, to reach out, to turn left instead of right, it was already decided long ago, encoded in the initial conditions of the universe. There is no room for spontaneity, no crack where freedom might slip through. The weight of this logic is suffocating. If every neuron fires because of a prior cause, if every desire and regret is just the outcome of physical necessity, then what becomes of responsibility? What meaning can be found in love, ambition, or hope if they are only the echoes of ancient collisions? But here is the question that Laplace's demon forces us to confront. If everything is predetermined, are we anything more than spectators in our own lives? Or is there, somewhere in the machinery of reality, a genuine opening for choice? If you have ever wrestled with the fear that your life is already written, you are not alone. This is the heart of the existential crisis that classical physics delivered, a crisis that shaped science, philosophy, and the way we see ourselves. But before you give in to that dread, pause. There is a reason to question the demon's certainty. If you want to know whether your choices are real, keep watching. The answer will change how you think about freedom and how you live. In 1927, Werner Heisenberg stood at a chalkboard and wrote an equation that would upend the certainty of Newton and Laplace. Delta X times Delta P is greater than or equal to H A bar over 2. In plain terms, this means that the more precisely you know a particle's position, the less precisely you can know its momentum, and vice versa. This is not a flaw in our instruments or a gap in human knowledge. It is a fundamental feature of reality. The reduced Planck constant, H bar, sets the scale, a tiny number, yet its consequences ripple through the universe. 
Heisenberg's discovery shattered the old dream of perfect prediction. In the quantum world, particles do not have fixed positions or momenta until measured. They exist in a haze of probabilities, described by a wave function. When you measure, the wave function collapses, but quantum mechanics only gives you the odds for each possible result, not which one will actually occur. The Born Rule, the mathematical backbone of quantum theory, tells us how to calculate these probabilities, but it never tells us which outcome will be chosen. This is not just theoretical. Every quantum event, every electron in an atom, every photon striking a sensor follows this law. The future is not locked in. The universe does not unfold like a story already written. Instead, it branches into a spectrum of possibilities, each with its own chance of becoming real. The math forbids absolute certainty about what comes next. There is genuine openness at the heart of everything. If you want to see the equation that changed our understanding of reality, look up delta x delta p is greater than or equal to h e bar over 2. This is the boundary that no measurement, no calculation can cross. The future is not predetermined. It is open, waiting for your choices to become real. If this realization shakes your sense of what is possible, share this video. Let others see that the laws of physics themselves have torn down the walls of determinism. Your story is not written in stone. It is written in possibility. In 2006, mathematician John Conway and physicist Simon Koken published a proof that sent shockwaves through the foundations of physics. Their free will theorem did something no philosophical argument ever could. It translated the idea of freedom into the language of mathematics. The heart of their claim is simple but astonishing. If human beings have even the tiniest sliver of free choice when they decide how to measure a quantum system, then the universe itself cannot be deterministic. The future is not locked in. It is open, not just for us, but for the very particles that make up reality. The theorem stands on three pillars, the spin, twin, and min axioms. Spin captures the unpredictable results of certain quantum measurements. Twin draws on the eerie connections between entangled particles. Change the measurement here and the outcome there is affected, even if the two are light years apart. Min, the refinement published in 2009, insists only that choices made in separated regions are genuinely independent. No hidden script in the past can coordinate every outcome. What this means is profound. No matter how much information you gather, no matter how cleverly you try to predict, the outcome of a quantum experiment is not set in stone. If you as an experimenter are free to choose what to measure, then the particle is free to choose its response. The logic is airtight. Determinism cannot survive in a world where quantum mechanics and relativity both hold true. Conway and Cochin's work does more than poke a hole in Laplace's demon. It banishes it. The theorem's 2009 strengthening closed loopholes and made the claim even more robust. The universe at its core is not a machine grinding out a single future. It is a branching web of possibilities, each waiting for a choice, human or particle, to bring it into being. Your freedom is not an illusion. It is written into the mathematics of the cosmos. Freedom is not just a philosophical idea or a distant abstraction. It is woven into the very fabric of reality. When you wake up in the morning and face the day, the openness of the universe is not only out there, in the stars or in the equations. It lives in every moment you decide, every path you consider, every possibility you weigh. The laws of physics do not close the door on your agency. They leave it wide open. The future is not a single line stretching out from the past. It is a branching web, alive with potential, shaped by the decisions you make. This is not the cold indifference of fate, but the warmth of genuine possibility. Choices matter. You are not a passenger on a predetermined ride. You are a participant, a creator, an author of what comes next. The universe has handed you something extraordinary, the power to shape what comes next. Physics no longer tells you that your life is a single unbreakable chain of causes. It tells you the future is open and your choices carve real paths through it. This is not a burden. It is an invitation. Every decision you make, no matter how small, sends ripples through a world that is waiting for you to act. So ask yourself, what will you do with this freedom? Share these ideas. Start a conversation with someone who still feels trapped by fate. Remind them that the laws of nature are on your side. You are free to choose. Use that freedom well. 
Today, quantum mechanics ensures your future is genuinely undetermined. No equation can predict your next choice. Physics no longer writes your story. You do. In a universe where possibility is law, responsibility and freedom fall squarely on us. What will you do with that power?